Hey piggy people. Man, when it rains, it pours around here. So yet again, I'm having more health issues with another pig. So Reese here has a abscess. I don't know if it's classed as like a tooth root abscess or just an abscess in her jaw or if that's the same thing. So she started not being able to bite into vegetables, but she's still eating her hay and pellets. So she went to the vet and there was some pus around her gum line. So that got cleaned out and we started Medicam and antibiotics. And then unfortunately you can feel a lump right on her jaw, lower right side where her incisors are. So that is um, the issue we had previous was the incisors. That was back in December where she had some food stuck there and they cleaned it, but there was no sign of infection or anything at that time. And we did antibiotics and Medicam that time, so I don't know if there was something that festered and the antibiotics didn't totally get rid of it and now it's an abscess. But regardless, she has an abscess there, so she's on antibiotics and Medicam. And the difficult thing with guinea pigs is once they have an abscess, it can be really hard to get rid of without cleaning it out. So cutting it open, lancing it out, because their pus is really thick. And it's hard for the antibiotics to penetrate in and clear it out. So I'm waiting to hear back from my vet for what her options are. She had mentioned that it would require a specialist to remove her tooth to get at the abscess from within her mouth. And then I think that is a whole host of other issues potentially. Because obviously removing a tooth on the bottom, how, is it going to grow back in okay? Or what happens to the tooth? like on top opposing it like is she forever going to have mouth issues so I don't know if they can lance an abscess on the outside like cut in without removing a tooth I'm going to have to find out I'm feeling so overwhelmed with pigs that I definitely don't think I'm ever going to keep this many again like definitely I know I've said it before in the past but like this year it's just within the last month and a week has been insane. So we've lost Angus to what I believed was kidney failure. Um, Annabelle had poked her eye, so we had an eye injury. Huckle had that mysterious tissue poking out of his eye that went away. Velvet, we're still working on her. She had to have her incisor shaved right down because one was cracked. The one still hasn't grown in, so we don't know what's happening with that. And then now Reese has the abscess. It's just insane. So right now I have nine pigs. And five, one who has passed, have gone to the vet in a matter of like four to six weeks. Isn't that nuts? It is very, very expensive too. So that's the reality of if you have a lot of pigs. And a bunch of health issues happen all at the same time. Holy crap. So I'm dealing with that. And then I'm also like trying to get Autumn to bond with some piggies. Which I'm not going to be able to do until I feel like I can focus. And I feel like my attention's all over the place right now. So Velvet goes back beginning of March to have her teeth checked to see if she needs some more dental work. Which would be like trimming her front teeth all over again, in case they're not coming in great. And it's still iffy about whether it's going to be, you know, a lifelong thing with her. I always have to correct her teeth. We'll find out. I bought some Timothy hay mats and a Timothy tunnel to put in the cage just for her to chew, which she was. Just something to hopefully naturally file her teeth down. So the mat, I didn't know what to do with it, so I zip tied it to the wood logs. To hold it in place so it's not falling down and getting peed on and then the timothy tunnel has the pad inside so we'll see how that goes she has been testing it out i'm trying not to be too obsessed with looking at her teeth i just look at it on cage cleaning nights when i take her out the last time i checked that one was still super slow coming in and the other three are kind of a bit on a slant so we'll see what happens I'm very sad about Reese though because like I don't know how this is going to go and Reese is an absolute sweetheart. 
So, Autumn is in here, still hanging out, and the trio, there's Annie, and the other guys are probably sleeping. Oh, Annabelle's sleeping, and then Little Buzz is there in the hay pile. Hi, Little Autumn. Hey, sweetie baby. Hi, baby piggy. Where are you going? She left. Alright guys, I uh, just wanted to give you an update. Feels pretty rough for right now. <sighs> and here I thought 2021 might be a better year. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from. So keep on watching.